sport. Before anything else, it's a game. It's a pastime. It's a passion. And for many of Canada's field hockey players, this sport has been part of their lives for as long as they can remember. I had my first game, I think I was nine years old, and I played an under-18 game because the team was short a player, and I was like, my dad's like, oh yeah, my, ne my son can play. Uh, I think you just put a shirt on and send him off on the field, and, and then the next thing you know, here I was playing in an under-18 game, people twice my size. Now, Sithu and his men's under-18 teammates are headed to the biggest stage their sport has to offer, the Youth Olympic Games, to compete in a new adaptation of field hockey called Hockey Fives. Uh, the game resembles street hockey or, or basketball transition type sports, so if we can have athletes who can play similar style uh, sports like, uh, like that, I think our guys will be successful. Uh, it's a totally different game, but it's, it's good and it's fun to play because the ball never goes out and it's quite a, quite a different game though. Uh, you can score from anywhere so it's pretty fun to be able to hit a ball from anywhere and put it in the net. Different but not one the Canadians can't handle. In fact, after being selected by the Canadian Olympic Committee as the lone men's team sport to represent Canada at the Games in China, the Canadians have their sights set high. Let's take this opportunity and say if this is a goal you want to set, let's go there and actually do something with it. Let's not just go there to show up. We're going to go there and our goal is to be the best Hockey Fives nation in the world. So we want to go out there and try to get a medal and, and win this thing. So, um, and I'm trying to echo that with our athletes that, you know, that is totally there and it's attainable for them. Inside the 11 meter, more clinical with our goal scores. Having qualified for the Olympics with a silver medal at the Pan American Games, many of these guys know they are capable of success. The pressure is always on when you put the, put the shirt on, right? But uh, Olympic event, yeah, the pressure will be on to medal because uh, we are a pretty good team and we did do well at Pan Ams and we want to show that we will beat the hockey giants of the world. I think it's good for us, honestly, because we got ice hockey in our blood, so I think it's going to be a, a great experience. And while the goal is to leave China with a medal, win or lose, the experience will be unlike any other. Yeah, I'm going to be pretty excited because uh, we get to uh, represent Canada, but I guess I've got to keep pushing on and try to make the senior team and stuff, but for sure I'm going to be happy about this. I'm actually working on my Chinese right now again when my dad is kind of teaching me, so it's going to be great. I don't know, it's hard to describe, it's just some unreal feelings. People dream about going to Olympics, even if, even if it's a youth Olympics, it's still a big event. It's under the Olympic brand and uh, I think it will be my biggest accomplishment in my career so far.